After the first exercise, you should be pretty proficient about carrying that puddle through the weld zone, keeping it the same size so you get those two nice even parallel edges. Now, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna change the positioning. We're gonna go from a straight at you draw to a cross body draw. It's still pull welding, it's just in a different position. Now, what's the advantage of this? Well, in welding, you're gonna see that you're gonna be in a lot of different positionings depending on what you're working on. When you're going cross body, it gives you the advantage of seeing the puddle better and you're gonna be able to carry out a weld in progress for longer. Now, so what we are gonna do is we're gonna take our line that we put down with our soapstone, we're not gonna go vertical, we're gonna go horizontal. So we're gonna move across our body. So when you're doing this, here's the deal. You have to stay in the same positioning with your rules. You're still gonna be perpendicular, straight in, good drag angle, 3 8 inch distance the entire time you are welding. But when you are setting up, if you're right-handed, you are gonna put your perpendicular down, you're gonna drop into a drag angle, we're gonna stick with 45 degrees, and we're gonna draw to the right. If you're a left-handed uh, individual, you're gonna go perpendicular, drop left, and then pull left. But you wanna have the same outcome. We wanna keep that puddle the same size, we wanna have nice, even, parallel edges as we go through our weld zone, and let's go check it out. 